Good morning everybody. Today I'm vlogging, which I can't remember the last time I actually vlogged, but I'm currently vlogging on my phone just because my brother's got um, his camera at, at home. Um, but today I am going to the garage to get my car repaired, so I just thought I'd do like a little before and after video just so I could look back on it and all that. But I'm in a bit of a rush because I said to my dad I'll be there at 10 o'clock and it's now 20 past 9, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get there. But basically a woman parked up behind me and her Apparently a handbrake failed and because we were parked on a hill, she went straight into the back of my bumper. So my entire bumper is going to have to be re replaced. But it's taken about two weeks to get this sorted. So I've been like bringing in my insurance, the ladies insurance, garage. And then they said I could bring it in last week, but then they've not ordered the part. So I've had to wait. And then they've only just been able to fit me in today. And because I'm, I've only had my license for eight months, I can't have a courtesy car like they said. But luckily I'm on Easter holidays at the minute so I don't need my car to get to work. So that's basically what's happening today. So I'm going to make this into like a few days while I'm off work, different things going on. Hopefully I'll get my camera back as well when I go home. Hello puppy. Hello. You get tapped by this one every morning. I will see you in the car. So this here, it's getting done to all that there. And then there's like a big... I don't know if that shows up on my camera, but there's a big crack down there. So that's basically what's getting fixed. It's super quick, but basically I've got a new like little stand for my phone now. So whenever I want to like vlog in the car, which I won't be vlogging whilst driving, but if there's anything like I go shopping and I want to buy you stuff, I can just talk to you like this. And a woman just gave me a really, really funny look then walking past. So I've got really quick, so I'll update you everything when I get to the garage, because I've got to meet my dad there and... Everything's just a bit of a rush, so I will see you later on. So I'm back at my parents' house. I've also got the, like, the worst spot ever. So I've just left my car at the garage, which I honestly feel like I have lost a limb or something. It's it's so weird. Like, what did I do before I drove? Even though I've only been driving for eight months, which I can't believe it's going to be a year in July. I mean, that's quite scary how quick that's gone. But yes, hopefully... It should be done in like three days or so. So what I was thinking of doing once I got my car back and took it to the car wash because I don't want to show like my car and any everything on video when it's not been clean. Like I love having a clean car and I try to keep the inside clean as much as possible. But while it's been cold, I haven't clean hoovered it out. It has been hoovered since I bought it, but only once. But it's still quite clean because I don't have that many people in it. I was thinking of doing like a car tour. So just like the interior, like what I keep in my car, because I have been watching so many of those videos on YouTube and it's really helped me have a look about what people have in their car, if there was anything that I wanted that I thought was useful to have in my car, which is why I bought the magnetic phone mount because there was nowhere really to have my phone. Yes, I have hands free and if someone rings me, then I answer it through my car. But it was like when I use the sat nav, because my car doesn't have a built-in sat nav, I had to have like a, a phone stick, phone mount thing that you stuck on your windscreen. And I just find it really annoying because it leaves ring marks on my windscreen and they're really hard to get off. And the the phone mount itself is quite like far back. So this one, I can put it a lot closer to me and can see a lot better where I'm going. So if you would like me to do a car tour, let me know in the comments. I mean, I will probably do one anyway because I've... I've wanted to do one and I think it's going to help those people that are looking for their first car because mine's like a small car and quite popular for like younger people I think it could be quite useful so let me know if there's anything you want to ask me about it also leave me some questions and I can answer some questions about my car as well because I haven't actually done any vlogging in my car and that's not because oh I don't want to like drive while vlogging I've just not done anything like all I've been doing because now I do have a full-time school job I, I've been working constantly since September not it's not including like school holidays and everything I have honestly worked so much and I've had late nights so I've been at work till half past five I have late nights every Wednesday so it's just fitting it in and at weekends like Dan and I like to do things because we both work full-time so it's just yeah it's been really really hectic at the minute but we are booking a holiday, which I'm not going to tell you where we're going because I am going to vlog it because it will be my first ever flight. So I want to like document that because it's going to be exciting. And we've been like holiday shop, clothes shopping. And what I might do is do a sit down video of 
all the things I've bought for my holiday and I've also bought lots of new summer clothes which I think I'm going to include in this vlog maybe tomorrow when I'm back at Dan's house all the new like work summer clothes that I've bought as well so let me know that's like a few ideas that I've got I also want to do a PS4 collection video when I've got there's three more games that I've ordered that I'm waiting for well to come out really and I've had a bit of a disaster with my PlayStation so if anyone out there who is like really really technical with games consoles please let me know I don't have PlayStation Plus so before anybody says you can use PlayStation Plus I don't have it so if anyone has any other way I basically went to turn my PlayStation on but the TV wouldn't come on so I was like oh great I'll turn the TV off and turn it back on via the plug. Didn't realise that the PlayStation was also in the same plug. And my PlayStation was updating while I turned it off. So then I came to turn my PlayStation on. And it just said that it was like trying to um, sort out the storage on it or something. The memory. But then it just kept failing. And we tried everything. It, we tried downloading the update via a memory stick. Didn't work. Even though that was what the PlayStation told us to do. It was very weird. We tried like rebooting, we tried re reset it, like re restarting. We just tried everything on the safe mode menu, nothing worked. So in the end, I had to reset it like a brand new PlayStation, which hurts my heart, really hurts my heart to say that. It's like all my saved data is gone, which is really, really, really annoying because Life is Strange 2 episode 3 comes out in next month and I've lost all my Life is Strange 2 saves. So I would like to know... If anyone's had this issue, what I can do to solve it? Probably nothing now because it's everything's gone. And I've downloaded Life is Strange 2 again. Would I be able to play Episode 3 without having to play Episode 1 and 2? Because it's a choice-based game that goes on like your choices that you make. Please let me know. I will very much appreciate it. Hello, so I'm back and I thought while I've got my my camera back and somewhere to actually sit down and film i will show you all the summer clothes that i have bought because i've been on like a massive shopping spree for work just because it gets so warm inside and i haven't really got anything that's like not long sleeve shirts so it's i want something that's going to keep me a bit cooler so let's let's get started these are actually for holiday the first three items i've got a pair of pink denim shorts just because I'm not really into wearing like shorts and dresses but obviously going abroad it's going to be hot and I've always liked denim shorts so I thought I would give these a try. These are from Primark and these were, tell me the price, these were £10 so not too bad. I think they'll hopefully go nice with some tops. So the next two, I've got a risk with these, I have tried them on though so they do actually look really nice on. Are some like baggier brown shorts and I thought when it's hot it's they're gonna keep me really cool because if it's like a bit breezy it'll keep my legs from getting re um, really warm and then they've also got pockets in the side which I thought was quite handy and then you just tie it up at the front so I will give a full review on them when I've properly worn them because I've literally just tried them on and then the next pair of shorts are these white ones which I actually really like and they've got like buttons on the front, you just fasten them up and a tie and uh, again they, uh, oh, I thought they had pockets. These don't have pockets and I think these were £10 as well. These were from Primark as well. Primark have got some really amazing holiday clothes if you're looking for holiday clothes. These were £8 and the others were £6. So a bargain really. So the next item I have got some like blue really thin comfy trousers these are what I wear to work and they've got a tie on the front I do have these in black and I bought um, like two pairs I got a black pair and a blue pair because I'd already got two black pairs and they're really useful when it's really warm and sticky weather and I thought instead of just going for black I would go out and get blue so there's my summer trousers and I've left these on my coat hangers just so it's so much easier to hang everything back up but my first shirt I got this sort of like goldy gold and white would you say yeah stripey one and this is so nice because it's slightly longer at the back so if I hold that up there look you can see it's slightly longer at the back this is so awkward filming because there's like a snicket right 
behind her so people keep walking past and I'm just sat here holding clothes up to a camera so yeah that's fun because I've had to open the window uh, I've had to open the blinds to make sure the light's good so people can just see through but never mind so yeah there's a pocket there and this was from uh, F and F so is that Tesco yeah Tesco clothing range which actually I'm quite impressed with Tesco at the minute I would say how much it is but I've already worn it so the label's not on but it's a nice thin wear this is a bit of a, a risk for me I bought um like a really long dress so that's the top and it, it's all really long it basically goes down almost to my ankles because again for work I need something that's going to keep me cool and not really like horrible and uh, hot I hate being hot so got that and I'm gonna I haven't tried this on but hopefully I'll be able to give full review because I'll probably just I'll still take it away on holiday this one was from t uh, Sainsbury's like yeah Sainsbury's and this was 18 pound and I think it's a really good quality dress so hopefully you can see that it's a bit it's a bit awkward to hold that up because it's so long and this one was also from Sainsbury's. I bought these uh, separate times though. This is like a little rainbow shirt, which I actually really love the design. And yeah, but the only problem is when you button this up, it's literally so low cut that I will have to put a vest top under it or something for work. So I just thought when it's hot in the summer, I could just wear it on casual days rather than it going to waste. That was another one from Sainsbury's. This one was another one from Tesco because I was just looking for some, I couldn't find anything decent in like Primark or anything for work type clothes that were summer related. So this is why a lot of them are from like Tesco and Sainsbury's and stuff, which there isn't anything wrong with that at all, just in case people were wondering. And this is like a, I'd say like half a shirt dress type thing and it's got really wide sleeves so it keeps me really cool and then again it's slightly longer at the back. And it just buttons up and I've worn this a few times to work already and it's really comfortable and this almost blends in with the wall so that's that one and then one that I've recently bought this I love this one similar to the rainbow one but I love like how light and pastel it is and I thought this could be nice when it's like spring like now where it's like not really hot but it's it's warm and you don't need a jacket type weather so I haven't tried that on yet, but um, I go back to work very soon, so I'll be able to try it out. And that was £16, so again, pretty pretty affordable. And my last item is this little top, which is a spotty top. I don't actually have that many spot spotty tops, they're nearly all checkered, so it was nice to get something different. And it just buttons up at the back there. And again, it's longer at the back, which seems to be like the in fashion at the moment. And this was from Primark, I don't know how much it was, probably like eight or nine pounds, not very expensive. And I just thought it was a good find. Like, you know when you go into a shop and you think, I'm, I wanna find, like, I wanna look for something, but I don't know if I'm gonna find anything. And this was one of the things that I actually came across. So they're all my summer like, related clothes that I've bought. And I think I'm gonna end this vlog. I know it was gonna be like a two day thing, but I've actually recorded quite a lot today. So I'm gonna, Put this one as a one vlog and then when i get my car back i'll give you a full like update on everything and how of how it's gone and what it looks like now but that should be in like the next few days so i hope this what i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a like don't forget to subscribe follow me on all my socials because i'm on there a lot more than i am posting videos at the minute which i'm uh, sorry uh, i apologize for i've even forgot how to do these i'm so like <laughs> stammery this will take a long time to edit and I will see you guys in the next one hopefully in a few days bye